Hi, I am Manmadhvi, SAPS. Today, let us learn the chapter Friction from class of class 8. So, already we have learned friction is the opposite to the motion. Uh, of the, towards the motion, it's, it will be always the, in opposite direction. So, now let us learn the objectives of friction. For, uh, at the end of this lesson, we will be we can learn this to how we can describe the types of friction. The next one is discuss the advantages and disadvantages of friction, and illustrate the way to reduce or increase the friction. Now, the types of friction. What are the types of friction? First one, static friction. The second one is sliding friction. Third one is rolling friction. The fourth is fluid friction. Before that we can learn friction, already you have learnt about a force acting in the opposite direction is called as friction. What are the examples? So many examples, walking, running, rubbing the two hands, hitting the hammer, uh, cars and all, all automobiles moving, all this comes under friction. Is this friction helpful or harmful? Yes, sometimes it is helpful and sometimes it is harmful. So, how it is helpful? Brakes on car, due to the brake, when you apply it to avoid accidents, friction is very helpful to avoid accidents. And also harmful because there, uh, this, uh, see without this we cannot assume friction, without friction we cannot assume life. So, we cannot walk even and all the parts of the mission will be worn out. This is the harmful effects of friction. So, types of, in types of friction, the st static friction first one. See, the ball is there without any applying force. This is uh, here, there, there, when you apply force, force, then only it will be some slide. So, static friction and sliding friction are both one uh, interlinked to one another. See, the object is present there in a static friction. Because of static friction, it is holding on the surface. So, that man is moving, a force applied, then it has slided, it, it, it is in a sliding friction. Now, it will be in a sliding friction. For force of sliding friction will be equal to the constant pull on that object. So, next one is rolling friction. See, that trolley, that bag is having a trolley and that trolley has some wheels. Due to the uh, wheel, rotating of that wheel, the, that object is being dragged out. So, uh, the, due to this sliding friction, uh, friction will be less in less, somewhat less. That because due to the sliding friction on the smooth surface, it will move easily. So, fans all that are rotating, uh, all the cycle chair, wheels all are because of the ball bearings used there. So, next one, we can also explain this uh, frictional force by learning about the factors affecting the friction. So, we can, uh, uh, there are, we can know what are the factors by seeing these uh, uh, examples. Number one, smooth object is moving on the smooth surface. Number two, smooth object is moving on the rough surface and the rough object is moving on the rough surface. Uh, the third condition is rough object and rough surface. So, in these three conditions, in which, in which, in which one the friction is highest? Friction will be more in the third position, isn't it? And the lowest friction will be Lowest friction will be where it will be more lowest first condition. So, in the first condition, smooth object, smooth surface. So, the lowest friction. The highest friction, the rough object and rough surface. So, there will be, the movement will be very, very less in that condition. So, the we can, from this, we can understand that uh, friction depends on the nature of the surfaces nature of the both surfaces that that will be the object surface and also the uh, uh, smooth surface or rough surface the surface so on both the conditions nature of the both surfaces will be affected the nature of the friction here the second one we can uh, explain the inclined plane on an incline if we assume an inclined plane that object freely free movement there will be a free movement in the inclined plane 
so the, if you use the sand paper in there instead so your object will stop at a nearer position than before because there the friction is highest so the movement of that object is slower because of the sand because there the rough surface uh, on inclined plane we have introduced in a rough surface so rough surface will have more friction so why friction is caused in a it because of irregularities friction because of the surface is irregular so that the friction will be affected so we by seeing on the surface we cannot assume we cannot see the irregularities of the object but if we see in a microscopic view then every object will have some irregularities the surface will have some irregularities due to that irregularities friction is developed so the second factor that affect the nature of friction is the irregularities of the friction surface irregularity of the surface will affect the um, friction so rough surface more friction so surface irregularities so first one nature of the surface it depends on nature of surface second one irregularities of the surface nature of the object nature of the surfaces see to here if we assume two objects one is 5 kg object and another one is 2 kg object if you push uh, which brick will move far more farthest which brick goes the farthest if we push then which is lighter brick that is 2 kg brick will move more distance than the uh, weight which has have more weight so force with which the two surfaces are pressed together friction also depends on if we push by pushing the two objects it, it, uh, that will affect the movement of the object so the object will be hold on because of the irregularities so for, so hence finally we can say friction depends on the nature of both surfaces force with which two surfaces are pressed together thank you